What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing some cleaning, some maintenance of my reptiles and kind of give you guys a behind the scenes on what it's like to own some of these amazing pets. I know a lot of you guys are either planning on getting some of these reptiles or pets and are just kind of curious on what the day to day life is like owning some of these pets. As you can see, my incubator at the back is kind of getting full, which means spring is on its way. Well, it's already here and a lot of babies are coming out so there's going to be a few babies as well that i'm going to have to maybe do some work with and i'll give you guys some of an update on what is happening here there's a mystery clutch that i'm kind of excited to share with you guys and i'll show you guys what is in that clutch later on in the video so definitely stick around but with that being said let's get started with the cleaning and maintenance let's go but before we go you already know what time it is we gotta zoom in! Oh man! I did this in the last video and a lot of you guys were like, oh man, the zoom ins are back. The reason why I do these zoom ins is that self appreciation. You know, you gotta self appreciate. Take a few seconds from your day and just be like, you know what? Today is a good day. So hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day and you guys are enjoying life. And if you're not, <laughs> I don't know what to say. If you're not, I get yourself a reptile. Emotional damage. But with that being said, let's just get started with the video. Okay, so first up, we got here two baby crested geckos. Now these two, I actually hatched out and this was a fun project that I did with my friend Jaffe. Um, he owns the male crested gecko and I own the female crested gecko and we got these two beautiful babies that are growing nicely. Now what we're gonna be doing today is I'm actually gonna be feeding these guys so we'll see how they react and if they would actually be interested in eating some crickets because it would be nice to include those in their diet. Okay, so we got the first crested gecko there and we got a cricket. Oh, oh, he took it like, he took it like a champ. Holy. Okay, this is a great sign because the whole entire time they've been eating um, Pangea and Rapashi. So now they are starting to eat crickets which is awesome because you could include that in their diet so the next one is actually behind this leaf over here a little bit hard to see now I did clean out their enclosure which is nice because it makes it easier to just you know feed them and they are nice and clean so he's back there okay little guy here you go here is a nice juicy cricket there you go oh yeah he sees it oh Yes, so it's awesome to see them eat something different aside from Rapashi as well as Pangea, you know, you could feed them crickets. So, you know, start them when they're young is the way that I like to do it. So I'm feeding them off the tongs, feeding them crickets. They're not shy. Eventually when they get a little bit older, which is probably going to be in the next week or so, I'm going to move them in their own separate enclosure and set them up. So that is awesome. These two baby crested geckos had their first crickets. Okay, so up next we got Chicken Nugget. Now, Chicken Nugget here, as you can see, she is looking amazing. Um, she's getting bigger, much older, and she's looking a lot more transparent. I don't know if she was going through a shed when she was younger, as to why she doesn't look she didn't look as transparent but now she completely looks see-through which is awesome so I'm gonna be feeding her a cricket which just so happens to escape over here oh is it coming this way yep okay 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 oh just ran in front of her oh 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 she like she attacked but she missed okay hopefully she gets this time oh, she missed <laughs> her little tongue there you go girl there you go so crickets are really good to be feeding, you know, Pac-Man frogs. You don't want to be feeding them too much high protein meals. You oftentimes see people feed them mice and, 
even though they can eat them and they will eat them in the wild they will not be eating them too often so you don't want to be feeding them too much um mice and pinkies you want to have them on a insect based kind of diet it seems like she just wanted the one so i'm going to leave that one cricket in there and if she's hungry she'll eat it if not i'll take it out later on but you can see that she's like pretty much swallowing it so yeah that right there is chicken nugget she's doing awesome okay so up next we got winston now winston as you can see he's pretty much you know i wouldn't say full grown but he is massive look look at the size of my thumb and look at him so we're gonna be feeding him just one cricket even though i normally give him a few more i don't want to be feeding him too much even though one isn't going to be enough but this is so you know this is more of a snack for him because today is really not feeding day but i did want to show you guys him and why not just give him one treat winston here you go here you go buddy oh 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 it just happened so quick so these guys are eating machines and because they don't move much you will notice that they'll gain weight very fast if you're feeding them too much so i'm starting to notice winston being a little bit chunky on the side i'm not super concerned but you don't want your pacman frog to be super overweight so i'm definitely backing off on the feeding for this guy not for a very long time but you know just slowly feeding him just mainly insects which i have been but he's definitely been you know eating quite a bit if you notice so i definitely want to scale it back a bit and just be focusing on giving him um you know insects in the near future so in the beginning of the video i promised you to share with you an interesting clutch that i have incubating which i'm gonna check upon and i actually have it incubating in an incubator down there so it's a separate one from this big one over here that i keep my reptiles in so this clutch over here is actually parrot eggs yes you heard me right parrot eggs so we got one egg over here and another egg over here now i don't know if they're viable and i did separate them from the mom and dad because i we noticed that the mom wasn't taking care of the eggs as well as she should so these had that possibility that they are not viable now the parrot that actually laid these belongs to my uncle and he said you could take them home and incubate them if you want so that's what I've been doing and by the looks of it I do see something in there but I don't see any veins so I can't guarantee you that there is actually babies in there but it would be a fun project to incubate these parrot eggs now the, the parrot that could potentially be born from this is a lorikeet parrot which is really cool it's a very beautiful bird it has rainbow colors and so far it's been a couple of days i'm at the end of the day i'm no expert on parrots i have incubated reptile eggs and they've been born but you know by the looks of it they look okay but i don't see any veins so maybe they develop maybe they don't but at least i'm trying which would be very fun um you know to see what happens you probably heard loki in the background making a bunch of noise so i decided to take him out just to pretty much feed him a little treat so we got these discord roaches over here we're gonna see oh, oh hey don't eat my finger oh there you go <laughs> this guy was going full blown after my finger dude what the hell so we got these discord roaches they're super crunchy these guys actually passed away i would say a couple days ago so it's almost like a discord roach chip but you can see loki is super happy pretty much eating <laughs> this discord roach you could see its face <laughs> so hopefully i could get a colony of discord roaches going um that way i could continue feeding it to him so yeah he, he really enjoys that but hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little update on just maintaining some of my reptiles i'll definitely make more future videos like this probably go more in depth of the breeding of ball pythons if that's something that you guys want to see but i definitely have a lot more videos to show you guys so definitely stay posted but that being said that is it for today's video keep the blood pumping and i'll see you guys so in my goes. next video here we go. peace you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit